Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Apron Strings. Well, it's Friday, and Christmas is not this weekend, but next weekend. So I've got to get in high gear and get my goodies made. And today I'm going to share with y'all uh, my unbaked fruitcake recipe. And I got this from my sister-in-law, Irma, in 1970, when Troy and I married. And it's been in her family probably close to 100 years. They just passed it down from one to the other. So it's a tried and true recipe, and it's easy to make. And we're gonna get over to the butcher block and get it going. You don't cook it, it's an unbaked. Just press it in your pan and let it set up, and it's a wonderful treat. So I have to, uh, it takes a box of graham crackers, and so I'm gonna get over to the food processor and grind them up and then we'll get ready to do the rest of the stuff that you have to do. Aren't y'all excited that it's almost Christmas? I just wish I had some Littles around that would get excited and you know it's a lot easier to buy for Littles than it is for older kids. Little people's happy with everything. Older kids you have to pump and prime to get them to tell you something that they want because they don't need anything. Anyhow, I love Christmas, I love giving, and I love making these goodies and I sure do love eating them. So let's get on with this cake. This is one of Troy's favorites. So we'll make an unbaked fruit cake today. Okay, I've got them all in here and it's gonna be noisy, but I'm gonna turn it on and then I'll turn it back off. Y'all won't have to listen to all of the noise. Back when we started making this, or when I did, you couldn't buy graham cracker crumbs, I don't think. We always, in fact, if I didn't have a food processor, I would put them in a bag and roll a rolling pin over them. I think that's about it. Yeah, okay, let me get the camera moved back over to the butcher block. Get them in the microwave to get it all melted together. And I'm thinking that I'm going to probably put it in the Bosch mixer to mix it all up because it's thicky and glumpy and I just think that would work good. So let me see what I'm going to stir it with here. I guess I'll just use a, a spatula. This kind of feels like Rice Krispie treats, don't it? Okay, let me get this back in there and I'm going to watch it real close where nothing burns. Get it melted, then we'll be ready to put everything together. Now, I it calls for a quart of nuts, of pecans, but I put some walnuts in there to toast. And I'm going to toast my pecans right quick just because I like that flavor. And I'm going to mix the two. I'm not going to put all pecans. I'm going to use some walnuts too. So, I'll um, get this going and we'll be back in just a minute. I was going to show y'all my uh, marshmallows are melting, but they're not, it's not all incorporated yet. So, I'm going to do it for about another 20 or 30 seconds and stir it until I get it all incorporated where I can stir it into my, the rest of my mixture. So, let me clear my spatula and shut the door here. And I'll set it for like 30 seconds more and then I'll check it. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I've got my stuff all melted and I'm going to take my Pampered Chef kitchen snips and see if I can snip some of my cherries in half. I haven't made this in several years and I don't know if I always cut them in half or not. So, I'm going to do that. Y'all, I'm so behind. I usually have my bar full of goodies the first week of December. But the, our weather that's coming is bad, and it's going to be in the teens, a single digits, at Dallas at Christmas. 
and it's just too iffy for Troy and them to try to get on the road and come down here. So we're going to celebrate with them after Christmas when the weather permits for them to be on the road. And I mean, it's like he said, he's got to take care of their houses and he's got horses. Troy team ropes and he's got several horses. And uh, he said, I can't leave my animals in that kind of weather with nobody to take care of them. And I totally understand that. So we will have a good meal and um, enjoy fellowship at a little bit later date. I don't have them all chopped, but I got enough of them chopped. So you need um, your box of graham crackers and um, Okay, box of graham crackers, a box of the golden raisins, and I think this is ATB's brand, but you need a whole box of them, and I'm going to go ahead and toss them in my crumbs to try to coat them a little bit, and you need your nuts, call for a quart. And I didn't measure, I guesstimated, and I mixed pecans and walnuts. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add in my cherries. That's a, I think it was a 10 ounce, I think it was a 10 ounce jar of cherries. I'll just go ahead and do this. I wish I could smell it. Smell those cherries. Okay. Let me rinse my hands and then I'll put the marshmallow in. Fingernails that I'm blessed with. I can't stand it when stuff's up under them, so instead of just rinsing my hands, I gotta clean my fingernails too. Okay, let's add our marshmallows and butter melted together. And this is the glue. Best tasting glue ever. I hadn't tasted a glue in a long time, but when I was in school as a kid, there was kids that would eat that paste. I never developed a taste for it. I just let them have all those bites. Y'all remember stuff from the lunchroom? I know some of you older ones do that other kids didn't like that you liked and y'all would trade food. We never had sauerkraut and wings at home. And most kids didn't like it, but man, I loved it. So on sauerkraut day, I'd find something on that plate somebody wanted to trade with me and I'd get their sauerkraut. y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just turning it and turning it and turning it till it's pasty where I can press it down into it. And I've got my pan ready. Um, sprayed it with Pam. You can butter it or you can spray it. And I just sprayed it today. Okay, it's almost mixed. I might end up getting in it with my hands. I've had a fun week at school. Some of those kids found out that I had a YouTube channel and they told some other kids and they just thought that was the grandest thing. One little old boy said, please miss, can I be in one of your videos? I told him, no, probably not. It was exciting because the kids were excited because it was the end of school and big kids and little kids like Christmas. And big kids and little kids like days out from school, too. Those teachers was looking forward to this break. Summer and days like this is what makes it worthwhile teaching, I guess. Okay, let me put this over here and lick this off my thumb. And if I have too much for this pan, I'll make another little pan. But you pound the pan real good. Get that where y'all can see it. Now, 
And I'm just going to dump it in there and spread it down good. Uh-oh, there's some that wasn't too covered. Y'all, this is easy, and, and most of this stuff should be available at the store. If you want to run, grab it and make one of these to have for your holiday. Just press it down real good to where when it sets up and you cut it, it'll be pretty because you'll have some of everything in each piece. I should have buttered my hands because it's got the tacky. But I want to be sure it's down. Now I'm going to cover this real good with some saran wrap and I'm going to spray it too so it won't stick. Put it in the ice box and let it set up and then it'll be all ready. Just a minute, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. What it looks like. And um, it's pretty and it'll be pretty when it's sliced because each slice will have a little bit of those raisins and those red marching cherries in it. So we'll have this ready in a little bit and I'll slice it up and show y'all what it looks like. Well, It'll have to sit several hours, so um, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to spray my saran wrap, plastic wrap, and put it over it, put it in the icebox, and let it set up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and edit the video and start it uploading because that will give you all a little more time to go get your stuff and make you one if you want to for Christmas. I know you all are making goodies. You wouldn't be watching me cook all the time if you didn't like to cook and make goodies. And I know your family's excited. They, you know, everybody wants to know, what are you making next, Nana? What are we going to have next? Even Troy, he's, he's kind of, he knows I'm behind right now. So I'm going to do this, and I think I'm going to make some cookies. And, um, of course, I'll video it. Um, I want to make a whole bunch of stuff, but it's not going to be a whole bunch of people here to eat it. And I hate to put it in the freezer, but I may do that. And then just freeze some portions where I can pull it back out when Troy and Amanda come where I'll have goodies then too. I was going to make uh, seafood gumbo for Christmas, but I'm not going to make that until they're all here. So I don't know what I'll have with April and the kids, but we'll have a big old feast. They call it a feast. I'll let them pick what they want and I'll cook Christmas dinner and then I'll cook it again in January when Troy and his family comes. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'm going to stay busy in this kitchen and I'm going to video it and I hope to have several up this week where y'all can watch them and have time to make you some. See you in a few days. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the week. I forgot to tell y'all, you know I got that, I won the Uni pizza oven. Well, I went on Facebook and joined some of the Uni groups. O-O-N-I is the brand. And there's a man that's called Uni Hacks. And he's actually in China, but he made a turntable that's electric that you, and you don't even have to do anything to the uni. There's a hole there that you put the thing through and screw it in, and it turns. So, when you cook a pizza, you turn that on, and it rotates it for you, and you don't have to reach in there and be scooping and turning it and making a mess. And I'm just, oh, I got a notice today that it's, it's, in, it's in the States. From the, United, from the Postal Service. So hopefully this week that'll come in and I will make pizza using my turntable and it'll be even and evenly cooked and so much easier than having to try to turn it a little bit at a time because I hadn't got good at that yet but I do love me some pizza. So I was going to tell y'all I've got that. That's my Christmas present from me. So when it gets here I will enjoy using it. So, okay, let me get this done, and I'll tell y'all again, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in a day or two. Okay, y'all, it finally, I thought about getting it out. So, here's what it looks like. See if it'll focus up close. Cut. You can see the raisins and the cherries. And I just cut it in little cookie-sized pieces because you really don't want a whole lot of it. I, we don't. So I just wanted y'all to see what it looks like cutting on the plate. <laughs> 